Once upon a time, there was a man. He was known as Number Two. Now you may know him as Skid Row, the subject of a new graphic novel from indie publisher First Second. But there was a time when he was the king of Uranus, ruling the second kingdom of Kolderish. Most importantly, he was first. For most of his life, he lived with a kind, decent noblewoman, Elizabethan. Together, they became godparents of the sad, foolish boy, Albert. With his tragically short life on the planet, Skid Row had everything he could have asked for. Friends, an easy life, and the adoration of his subjects. It was all ruined the day that his younger brother wandered into Kolderish's castle. His younger brother stumbled upon his father changing. His father tried to shut him out, but Albert wouldn't let him. That young boy, was Skid Row, an idea that took root. He was a king of an even bigger kingdom. In fact, he was the biggest king of all. He said to his father, Might we commence the dance I see you and mother engage in every once in a blue moon, father? His father nodded and undid his belt to reveal his undergarments. Skid Row chuckled. <laughs> it's a party. Then, that young boy's life ended. His little brother froze in his tracks when he found his older brother's corpse. His anus had been stretched beyond what was physically healthy or possible, and caused a slow, painful death. The father was on the run. He was found in a different country, and was hunted down and executed. His kingdom was in ruins. Skid Row was the only one left. Skid Row has lived with his father's head, headless for centuries. Skid Row was the one who did it, and he hasn't been the same since. He's become an empty shell, walking around talking to his father's head, but never being able to reach it. That is, until one day, when he hears a voice. A voice from his past, from long ago. A voice that was once his friend. A voice that reminds him of the only thing that was ever truly important to him. It was his little brother, that high-pitched, whiny voice he had forgotten the sound of for so long. He tore my asshole, Skid, the voice spoke. What? said Skid. My asshole is bleeding so hard, brother! I'm sorry, Albert. It's fucking everywhere, Skid! And just like that, the voice had gone. Skid Row was broken. He could never be whole again. A tragic yet heartwarming tale of a king who was left to mourn the loss of himself and his brother is an unforgettable story that can be forgotten. The End